humanity has gone a long way since its early days. From the advent of fire to the creation of the Internet, technological advancements have had a significant impact on our daily lives and how we perceive the world around us. However, where do we fit in the big scheme of things? As civilization expands and advances, its energy demands rise dramatically due to population growth and the energy needs of its different equipment. With this in mind, the Kardashev scale was created to assess a civilization's technical advancement based on the amount of usable energy available. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. The underlying notion here is that all, or most, civilizations will go through definable phases of evolution, and some of these steps may be mirrored in how we identify them. However, while Kardashev's primary interest was in detecting signals from exo-civilizations, his scale provided a clear framework for thinking about their evolution. The classification scheme Kardashev used was not based on social systems of ethics, because these are things that we can probably never predict about alien civilizations. Instead, it was based on energy, because you cannot do the work of building a civilization without using energy. So, Kardashev examined the energy sources available to civilizations as they advanced technologically and used them to construct his scale. According to Kardashev, there are three primary phases or types of advancement in terms of energy harvesting that a civilization should follow. A type 1 civilization can harness all of the energy on its home planet, including solar, wind, geothermal, and tidal energy, as well as manage its environment via technology such as climate control. The amount of technology required for a type 2 civilization to harness the energy of their star is absolutely amazing, requiring massive engineering projects, such as building a Dyson sphere around the star, a giant structure that surrounds a star and captures a large portion of its energy output. A type 3 society possesses power not just over its own planetary system, but also over other planetary systems in the galaxy. They can easily go from one system to another. They use the resources of all planetary systems efficiently for the development of their own planet. Currently, our planet has a scale value of 0.74, and it is questionable whether humanity will achieve type 1 status. The path to this goal will involve substantial challenges. Advances in technology and science, together with environmental awareness, lay the groundwork for growth and development. However, achieving this aim will require resolving global conflict, reducing waste, mitigating climate change, and promoting cooperation and equitable resource distribution will be necessary to achieve this goal. That's it for today's video. Stay safe and healthy.